All right, so I'm going to cover um, how to prepare your uh, Rhino file to, to get ready to export into Revit. So to do that, um, as I did in class, uh, you want to first start out with moving uh, this whole thing uh, to uh, the where you know that origin uh, will be. So um, if you want that to be level 1, uh, I would assume that's kind of the top of this uh, foundation wall. Then you need to make it that. Um, now you might be like me, you can't barely zoom into the right place. So what I'm going to do is just grab this curve. I'm going to zoom select. And so now that makes it kind of the uh, orbit place for everything. So I'm just going to grab all. I'm going to move all. And then I'm going to. I'm going to pick the, the point that's on the uh, proper location, right there. And I'm just going to type in 0, 0. And I'll move everything to the proper location. All right, that's the beginning. Now I want to uh, just grab my, uh, my contours. So I'm going to grab that, select uh, objects. So now it's just selecting those 3D contours. I'm going to export them and to a DWG. I'll just call that site plan. And use the 2004 polylines. You can see there's a lot of different options, but that's the one I want. Okay, and then I'm going to uh, select each other piece, uh, such as the roof. Uh, exhibit space and columns into their own separate um, SAT files. So let's see, select objects. Hmm, it must not be in the right layer. Let me go ahead and change that. All right. So now that's the roof. I'm going to export that. Turn it to an SAT. ASCII. And call that as roof. That's defaults okay. And I'll just do that for each of the other ones. Oh, make sure that the others aren't selected. Just select each group individually. Alright, so that will make sure that each one of these has the correct origin. And now we go into Revit and we get started. So I have a blank file in Revit. Uh, I'm going to first insert the uh, CAD information. I'm just going to use the import CAD. And I could also use the link CAD. If you think you're going to change the, uh, the contours later, you may want to use that. Uh, but for right now, what I'm trying to do is create a surface, much like we did in Rhino, but now with Revit, so it knows what's going on. So I need to go and find that file. Alright, so there's the site plan. Now the next thing you have to remember is positioning, not auto center center, but to origin. And it looks like it's going to allow me to place it at level 1, so that's perfect. Say open. Remember that origin to origin. It's the key. Otherwise you're going to be moving this stuff around and it's not going to be good form. Okay, now I want to go to massing and site. And under there, you'll see Topo Surface. I'm going to click that, and under the tools, you'll see Create from Import. That's what I just brought in, so I'm going to use that. Select Import Instance, that's what I need. I'll select it, tell it I want to use those as the contours, and it should make you a reasonable surface. So I'm just going to click OK, and we'll see uh, in the 3D view looks like we have a surface now. Great. 